Well, hello there, lords and ladies of the realm. I am Wandsworth V, and I am with... Emeralda from the West. It is a pleasure to see you all, as usual, on this chilly January day. Yes, indeed. Yes. Well, we are having a fabulous day, are we not? Yeah. Yes, making the most of the day. Stopped by the library. Yeah. Saw my friend at Kent's. So it's been a great day. Yes. And we're going to be going to pick up our little race car later. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a fun day. It is indeed. Right? And uh, little race cars. Right. And uh, what is our topic today? I think there was some decisions that needed to be made by people. And mm. the decisions were up in the air for quite some time. And now the decision has been made. Huzzah. Huzzah. Well, I like that. So I think we should look at some cards and see how that decision is there. <clears throat> yes. And we were pulling cards earlier. We, because we're friends. We, or I was there, but Esmeralda joined me shortly thereafter, and she saw what we I had pulled and from the Sensual Wiccan Tarot deck. And I do like this tarot deck. It is, you know, instructional book is naughty and like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello there. Well, hello. Clearly good times are ahead. But, uh, yes, so we were pulling a bunch of cards, and the first one which was it was these two, I believe. Oh, these three. So first, so we had the artist, and he, you know, has been on his own until Esmeralda showed up, and, you know, uh, we've been living our best lives, but clearly there was someone that was had once dominated the situation and treated others not so kindly. Mm. And I do believe that situation is reversing so that maybe the scales of justice will balance out a little bit and things will improve. And that's why we got this card, the Four of Wands, to signify, you know, people coming together and, and have a grand old time, finally. Things improving and, you know... No one being mistreated anymore, so that's... It is good, yes. Everybody should be treated with kindness. Yes. And, uh... Let's see. Where are these other ones? Trying to remember the order. Uh... This was like a wedding celebration. Well, this was not in the cards before. This one just somehow appeared in there. And this is the victorious... You know, everyone showing up for the victory party. You know, it, it's all gone really well. And, uh... But I was trying to show you this one first, and this was uh, the former queen, who I, we do believe is making a return for to join us. And she, you know, she pretty much won everything at the expense of everything, of what she really wanted, I believe. Whether she realizes it yet or not, you know, clearly the photos of, up on the wall and the swords next to, you know, winning the battle. You know, she won the battle, but lost something important during that battle. So even though she has the throne, she does not quite thrilled with life, the way it worked out. That's what I get out of that one. It's interesting. It makes me think of a song from the musical Wicked. When she talks about getting what she wanted, but she didn't realize the price would be so high. Right. Yeah. I mean, and sometimes... I don't remember the words exactly right now. I think it is that she is lamenting about how high of a price she had to pay for what she wanted. Well, I mean, it's it's sad and terrible. Sometimes, like, you know, you, you think you want these things and at any cost, and you're willing to hurt anyone or anything to do it, and then, you know... Perhaps it is not quite what you envision. You win it, but you're not really thrilled, and then the other card that came up with that, those two was the binding. You know, she feels bound. Mm. You know? And I, it is funny because you know sometimes I get these messages and songs in my mind. Yeah. And the words that just came in were on your knees, boy. And I couldn't even tell you what song it is. Interesting. On your knees, boy. Well, she certainly did have me on my knees for quite a long time, but I think she tied her own hands at the same time. Mm. You know, so she put us both in a rather precarious situation that has gone on far too long, if you do ask me. And, uh... <sighs> You know, and I think ultimately the card, this card, the Ace of Swords, came out in reverse. And so normally this would mean success and it's upright. Mm. And, you know, so clearly, you know, she feels bound. She feels like she won, but, you know, at a price that was too high. And, 
And so she does not feel truly like she succeeded. And so what I saw was, the next one was this one. Her with all her swords that she has used over the, over the course of time now, two years or more better, mm. to injure and do harm and win at any cost. And but when I saw this card, I felt like she was like, oh no, I have to put these away. I was like, oh crap, I should put these in the closet. I don't want to keep doing this is kind of what I felt when I saw this card. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, like the swords. That. Yeah, it wasn't like the swords are coming back out. It was like, oh crap, I gotta put these away and stop doing this. Okay. So I, like that. I felt positive about that. Because ultimately I think she wants to a positive family outcome. Hmm. You know? And you're not going to get that if you keep swinging the swords. No? Not so much. So, we're open for that. And clearly, the thought is there that it will end with... And this card just did appear in this deck. I don't even know how it ended up in these cards because I did not read it in the original reading. Uh, with, like, you know, a successful victory, riding into Rome, victorious, everyone together, yes. everyone positive. So, that was my thought on that. And I do believe if we all stay rather positive, I pulled this one a few moments ago, and it was, you know, the Ace of Cups. You know, catching that big fish, your cup is overflowing, and life is going good. I like that. Right? So I think there's a lot of positivity in this reading that we did or that we've done today. You know, just a lot of things coming in, you know, putting weapons away, realizing past mistakes, and perhaps the price was too high to pay. Because even though you won the battle, you did not get success. Any thoughts? Mm. There's a lot of celebrating. I do like that. I. It's funny, but the book does keep calling out. I do believe it'll, there'll be some smooching going around. I like smooching. Right? Smooches is good. <laughs> Oh. I'm still open that one to you. Oh, yeah. Ah, the two of cups. Got a lady smooching. More smoochies. Speaking mm-hmm. of smoochies. Speaking of smoochies, do we not call that one? <laughs> you are funny. Right? So, yeah. Love is in the air. Victory is wanted. People want to be unbound at this point, even though, you know. They won. You know, if they feel like a snake for doing it almost, with the snake at her feet. Yeah. It is interesting. This card keeps calling to me. Well, it almost looks like a ceremony of sorts. Hmm. But they are bound. And you have the owl there looking out. And then you have. Is it a wolf or.? Hard to tell, because there's more letters. I think it is a wolf, yes. And the full moon. Mm. And they're in a clearing in the woods, having this beautiful ceremony. And perhaps they have made their intentions, and now it is being blessed by the gods. Right? I like that. Mm. And they are taking their fate into their own hands, so their hands are bound. All for the better, I hope. I would hope. All right. Let us hope. I do not believe the gods approve of this way. I hope not. I know not. Yes. It will be glorious. It's just nine oh nine in the second. Yay! A lot of nines lately. Nine oh nine. Yes. <laughs> that keeps falling out. Nine tends to be complete in the end of a cycle. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it is the cycle of depriving yourself of what you want. Yes, let's not do that anymore. Let us not. I found that. Yeah. Mm. And I guess we'll have to look into it more. I like that. Hmm. The canopy on this one is what keeps calling out to me. Now, the we're, canopy. We're covered. Recovered. Yes. Yes. That makes me think. Yay. And the boy, too, jumping out. 
perhaps future children. Makes me kind of think. Or maybe just young, energetic fun. Which could be. Yeah. Which boy? This one or that one? No, I did not even see that one. <laughs> maybe there's more than one. See how funny. Yeah. Isn't it funny how you look at a card a hundred times and you do not see the thing that is right there in front of you? Yeah. It is time for you to see it, which is the way the gods work. Okay. Interesting. So which boy were you talking about? I was talking about this one here, and oh. then there's this one hidden right there. That one right has there. a tray of goodies that he's passing out. Yes. Okay. Well, they say no which son I like better. <laughs> the one with the goodies? The one with the goodies. <laughs> How do you know this lad doesn't have goodies in his hand that he's hiding in front of him that he cannot see? Oh, I actually think he does. He's got wheat. Ah, see? Yeah. Oh. Good sense. I guess they'll have to complete on some other level. Right, yes. Or perhaps you could love them all. I think I will choose that. Give them all love equally. That is the plan. Is that the plan? That's the plan. Might I have that deck, please? Yeah. For you. Thank you, darling. Oh. And let us see what my friend has for us. Four of them. Mm-hmm. It's a wild deck, I don't think it's one to deal with a lot of it, too. No. Oh, I almost thought, for some reason it says arising, but I got transformation. Is this an ancient symbol? This is quite interesting, but I don't need to really know too much about it right now. I almost feel like it's a group effort. We're arising. Like everyone's... Reaching for something new, almost something that's, because he's like ghostly, it's almost something that we can't quite grasp yet. Hmm. But there's the idea of it perhaps forming. Oh. Is that it perhaps that she is dreaming of? Well, she is him, right? Oh, yes, I would say so. The clock jumps out. I was, think. you're funny. I was literally just going yeah. to say I'm being drawn to the clock up in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I doubt they get a little close of them. Is that is assuming they want to see. Oh, well, close your eyes if you don't want to see the time. <laughs> right. One hand is pointing at six. The other one looks like it's six ten. Is it a gas or two thirty? Yes. Six ten or two thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm go two thirty. Makes me wonder about the ride we have to take in the current time. Two hours worth of driving around and end up where I need to be at 610. Right? <laughs> Funny how they don't work. In fact, it is. <sighs> and perhaps she's manifesting this by that. Mm -hmm. He is rather dashing. In his transparent self. Well, his YouTube doesn't always show something. <laughs> Keeping it PG, people. PG! We don't usually add the kids section unless it's just the kids. But, uh, you know. Oh, it's so Ridley and Dory's kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're not kooky at all. Is not it? at all. <laughs> no. I want to pull another card to go with that one. Go for it. The two X's jump out too. I meant to pick up the whole deck and the deck split. Okay. Thanks for you, Julie. This is like your painting of pyramids. Yes, and it does very familiar that way. The moon, introspection, imagination, and dreams. Prophetic. Oh. <laughs> imagination and dreams, right? What is she imagining? Her dream. Yes. Do you think it's relevant? Quite Do you positive. think this was the right card to go with that? I kind of think so. Mm. Perhaps. Perhaps. 
Perhaps we are supposed to daydream our future into a reality. Yes, I would imagine. Manifesting. What do you want in your future? Mm. Leave it in the comments. Right? Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's one of those things I've, I watch other people and I'm just like, they all say that. I have started to say that. Oh, all right. So if I've been missing out, please like and subscribe. Like it, subscribe, right. share with your friends. Share with your friends. Leave a comment. Right? Reach out for a personal reading. Right. The High Priestess. Cool. Speaking of manifesting. Uh -huh. hmm. She looks rather powerful and determined. I was just going to say, she looks rather powerful sitting there. And the two candles, twin flame, comes to mind. Oh, that is funny. Mm -hmm. I just am constantly drawn to her bare breasts. Scandalous. Indeed. <laughs> oh my god, there's the part that keeps calling to me that and hmm. her headdress. No, well, it's the boobs. She is, it is the boobs. <laughs> but yes, no, but she's quite powerful, but yet she is exposed. Yes. Yep. So she is confident enough that she does not need to hide who she is. And then she's sitting there in all of her power and all of her glory, completely exposed for the world to see. And she has her book in her hand. She has the crow above her head. And we've got the sword sitting there at the ready. The cup, the pentacle, she has everything she needs. As a matter of fact, it's the staff. It's all four of the elements right here. Oh, yeah. If you notice on this little table here. Mm -hmm. There's the staff, there's the sword, there's the cup, and there's the pentacles. Yeah. Mm. I like that. So she's got her crow, she's got her book, she's got the light from the candles. And you notice that this candle here, it is so dark it almost looks like it is only half the candle. Hmm. It looks like it is a black candle with a white, almost like a waterfall. Which would talk about duality. Yes. It is a black candle. Oh yeah, it looked white. It did. And now it's black. <clears throat> that is funny. Right? Illusion. That is so weird. What was it about the moon and illusion? Yeah, imagination, dreams, prophetic, introspection. Yeah. Hmm. The fingers are not always what they appear. Right? And it looks white again on the screen. Interesting. And it is black. Hmm. That is interesting. Things are going to be black and white, I think. Not always what it seems, I think is the most thing that you oh. not on. Oh, and there's your little fellow wiling into the world. Yay! Oh, there's a dolphin. Yes, dolphin. Dolphin wolf. Yes. One of them. One of them. It's a fishy. <laughs> it is a fishy. It is a happy fishy. Happy fish. Hmm. I don't know if I'd be thrilled with a naked man riding my back holding my fin, but you know. <laughs> I guess it depends on who you are. <laughs> hmm. Kind of naughty things is a little naked man on my back. <laughs> Don't eat it, folks. He looks very happy, though. Leaping towards something, crossing borders, new experiences. Sounds familiar about tonight. It does. That sounds quite interesting. All right. So we are dreaming of this glorious man. We are perhaps breaking illusions. Mm hmm. Hmm. We have our high priestess manifesting what she wants. And then we have a glory cup. I like that. Yay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Alright. I believe... Yeah. I believe rewards are riding in. I like that. That's what I get with that one. So... Hmm. A lot of horsepower going into this tonight. I like that. <laughs> 
So. The horses were close to the freight train. Right? Yeah. I like that way. Riding in towards each other. Right? I like that. Yeah. Flowers blooming and everything. Valentine Glory looks like such a little blaze like I do. Yay! I like that. I only have one leg left. I could always braid it in two. Well, we can do that. Tune in next time for double braids. Right? (laughs) (laughs) For now, it is only the one. For now, it is the one. Oh, God. I do like that. I see a lot of celebration, a lot of potential. I'm dreaming of what we want. Right? Making it happen. I like it. Let's make it happen tonight. Let us. Yay! Alright, are we concluded? I feel complete. Okay. And on that note, you all have a fabulous night. Stay warm. Mm, Yes, and dry, apparently, because rain. Yes, and good luck and light and love to us all. Yes, and let us imagine glorious things. For glory! For glory! Bye. (laughs) Be well.